Hi everyone, welcome to A-Level Environmental Science Virtual Open Day. Today we're going to explain a little bit about some of the frequently asked questions that are usually asked during a normal open day for environmental science, which includes what do you study in environmental science? What careers does it lead on to? Um, what other subjects does it go well with? Are there any field trips? And also, what are the entry requirements for the course? So, the modules that we cover for environmental science is a really good range of different topics. Some things connected to how humans impact on the environment and impact on the living part of the environment, like the organisms that are there, as well as how we impact on the physical parts of the environment, like the land and the gases that are in the air. The second year is split into other topics looking at energy pollution and an overall focus of thinking about sustainability and there are, there are research tasks and research methods that are used in environmental science to look at throughout. In the first year we is split into two. The living environment focuses on the conservation of biodiversity so thinking about what are the reasons why it's important to conserve the variety of living organisms on Earth and what sort of methods are available to us to help increase the likelihood that some of these organisms are going to survive in their natural habitats and outside of their natural habitats. There's a particular focus then on applying that to some specific conservation contexts such as looking at Antarctica, tropical rainforests and also tropical coral reefs. The second half of the year is more focused on the way in which humans impact on the physical part of the environment. So for example, how have we been changing the gases that are in the atmosphere and how does that lead to climate change? So for those of you interested in learning more about climate change, this is a really good introduction to some really detailed climate science, as well as thinking about things like how humans impact on the water that's available and how mining affects the environment as well. In the second year, we, there's a big module on comparing and contrasting different ways of generating energy, such as renewables and fossil fuels. A big topic on different types of pollution, air pollution, nutrient pollution, chemical pollution, noise pollution, and also the way in which you can control those. There's a topic on agriculture, different types of agriculture, and evaluating the strengths and weaknesses of those different sorts as well as then again this overall unit which ties together lots of the stuff that then you will have covered in the first and second year to do with creating a sustainable future. Lots of people are curious about what sort of careers you can go on to if you've done environmental science. Well, there's lots of specific university courses such as conservation, geography, ecology and zoology that would really benefit from you doing an environmental science A-level. But also now lots of businesses and companies have uh, sustainability leaders. So this is a picture of Hannah Jones, the Chief Sustainability Officer at Nike. And there'll be lots of companies that have this sort of role now. And I also like to think that, you know, in the future, really, all jobs need to have a kind of green element. So you can take your learning and the skills that you get from environmental science to whatever career that you go on to. There is a reasonable amount of field work that we do in A level environmental science. For example, we do two full days of field work each year as a minimum, but there are also additional experiments and investigations that we can complete in class. In terms of which subjects it goes well with, lots of our students cover the extended certificate in applied science, which has um, elements of biology, chemistry and physics. And this really helps with understanding all those different elements of environmental science. Many of our students do A-level geography and they go really well together and complement each other. Similarly with A-level biology, there's a big ecology unit in A-level biology, so there's some really good overlaps there. And also if you think about in terms of understanding humans and their impact on human behaviour and the human impact on the environment, then a deeper understanding of, of human behaviour can be gained through studying A-level psychology and sociology. So those two are also really good ones to go along with it. In terms of entry requirements, 
there's no specific grade requirements other than the normal college entry requirement of grades four and five in your English, maths and science. Um, but I would say the main thing is a really keen interest in environmental issues. You've, there's a lot of information to learn. It's not as conceptually tricky as some of the other A-level science subjects, but there is, a, there is quite a large volume of it to learn. So if you're really interested in environmental issues, it's a really good one for you. If you're a bit unsure of what to do, and I'd say this, this probably isn't the course for you to do, but this is again something that we can discuss when it comes to um, enrolment. Finally, if you want to get ahead with environmental science, what could you do? The World Wildlife Federation website has lots of really good information there about conservation that you could look at to help get ahead with that module. Even watching things like nature documentaries, things like Planet Earth 2, Blue Planet 2 and Our Planet have lots of really amazing filming and if you were watching that and making notes that would really help build your understanding. There's a huge variety of environmental science news websites now with it being a really current topical issue so if you try and keep up with the news there'll be lots of really important things that you can learn there and also this citizen science website zooniverse.org has lots of environmental science based research projects that you could get involved with. And finally, I thought I couldn't have an environmental science video without finishing with Greta Thunberg. Um, I liked this quote, you know, we already have the facts and solutions, all we have to do is wake up and change. And hopefully in the course of doing an environmental science A-level, you'll learn about what some of those facts and solutions are. And we can have a think about together um, how we help everyone do the waking up and, and changing part. Okay, thank you.